Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts back once well, another reaction for you guys. Today, guys, of course, we're checking out the newest episode of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Season 1, Episode 5, Truth. Now, when I first saw that title, I'm like, okay, truth. Okay, I don't know what truth we're talking about, but there's some sort of truth we're going to be talking about in this episode. But then I thought about it more. Maybe it's referencing truth, justice, in the American way. Maybe because John Walker, because the last episode, The Whole World is Watching, was the title. And at the end of the episode, the whole world was literally watching John Walker brutally murder that guy. Now, that guy that he killed was a part of the Flag Smashers, but it was brutal. And in context, no one saw what just happened prior to people started recording John running over there and just slamming down the shield on this guy. No one saw what happened to Battlestar or the Flag Smashers. Like, it's been in the news what the Flag Smashers are doing, but it's like these people in surrounding the area that saw John Walker doing this did not see what happened beforehand. So context is everything. So this is going to be interesting to see what happens here because uh, I have been theorizing. Of course, I think there's going to be consequences that are going to happen because of this. It, it's not going to look good at all, especially on Captain America, who, of course, fights the bad guys, but that was a brutal killing, and that guy has to be dead, I think, pretty clearly, based on just how they shot it and the blood on the shield. And that and that shot, though, they made sure to get a shot of just, like, the, him holding the shield and the blood. Like It was just, oh, okay, dar a dark look. Okay, okay. <laughs> But intense action in that last episode. I'm really enjoying the show overall. I, I like the fact that it's different than WandaVision. And I'm excited to see what they do here because now we're literally at two episodes left. This episode and then the finale next week. People have been asking too about um, who's the power broker, what's happening with season two, are they not going to do a season two? I think the power broker, I mean, there's a lot of theories. I think the power broker is going to be revealed hopefully in this episode. or I mean, they have to reveal the power broker within this series. They would have to. So I'm thinking... Maybe they'll do it in the episode. Maybe they'll hold it till the finale because maybe it's more of a it's a bigger reveal if they hold off to the finale. I'm not really sure, but they better reveal who the power broker is. They can't keep that lingering. You know, what I'm saying they just can't do it. Um, and for season two, a lot of people are uh, theorizing that since it seems like you know possibly Sam is going to become new Cap within this series, that they're going to change the show to Captain America and White Wolf. I think that's uh, Bucky's name from Wakanda. They, they've given because they, they've been referencing that a lot more. Um, of course, with the door of Milaje showing up and then the flashback where he was able to break free of um, when it was being recited the uh, phrase again. So yeah, so uh, I'm going to stop wasting time, guys, because we got to get into this damn thing. It's episode five of season one of Falcon Winter Soldier. Truth. I'm excited. Let's go. Exactly. They keep showing the blood on the shield, man. You don't want to do this. Yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, we do. Oh. Come on, Bucky. Come on. Oh, my God. Okay, you have the shield now. <laughs> No, you're not. No, you're not. That shot. Oh. Oh, my fucking God. They worked together so well, but Jesus, that was brutal. <laughs> Bizarre, it was. Wait, yo, you forgot the wings. Cable. Mmm. You were hereby stripped of your title and mm. authority as Captain America, effective immediately. Shit. Misunderstood the circumstances. This is not a negotiation. This is a mandate. I'm just asking to be heard. It is a mandate. I, under mm. I understand that. Not anymore. <laughs> Stop telling yourself that. Well, these boots are not made for walking. Oh. Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. Actually, Contessa Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. 
Oh, by the way, don't worry about the shoe. I know you don't have it. Mm. Here's a little dirty state secret. It doesn't really belong to the government. I've decided I'm not going to kill you. Okay, well that's good. Imagine my relief. <laughs> Mmm, man, I thought he was going to do it. Smart. Well, Ladies. you're screwed now. Is that what I think it is? You are correct, sir. Uh -uh. Mm-hmm. you ain't bitter, you're blind. I like that line. Mmm. They tell us it's Tethers. They sent us on mission. Wow. Hmm. And what did I get for saving their lives? Nothing. We gotta do something. But we gotta tell somebody. No. Hmm. No. We did. I hmm. mean, it was very vague. Well, have a better black man be Captain America. Mr. Falcon. <laughs> Best buds forever. He's the one to kill our boy. Yes. He's lying. But I would never let the person who did that get away. Not anymore. <laughs> I can give you double this time. I promise you won't regret saying yes. Here we go. Ricochet. Mm -hmm. I just figured if it worked for him, then it would work for me. You gotta stop looking to other people to tell you who you are. I like that. Yeah, it's true. You go to these people and say sorry. Because you think it'll make you feel better. Mm. Right? Mm, yeah. But you gotta make them feel better. You know, Carly will quit. Mm. Call me when you have a beat and I'll be there. Okay. It's good. Couple guys. <laughs> no point in my life did I ever think you were running away. Hmm. From anything. It's good. Not even when I was lighting your ass up at the bank. There's a fight out there, and then there's our fight here. And bro, you have taken them both on. He sure has. Mm hmm. Oh. Nice. Yes. Oh, this guy. So we're working with criminals now. Haven't you heard? We are criminals. George gets his payback and we get a killer. Is that his cap suit? Or something? Man. He's making a shield? There you have it, guys. The Falcon and Winter Soldier, Episode 5, Truth. And, uh, yeah, some truth was definitely talked about in this episode. Let's jump into that cameo first because that threw me off. I'm like, okay, someone's walking up. Okay, who is this? Who is this? Oh, Julia, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Is that how you pronounce her name? Julia Louis-Dreyfus, of course, Seinfeld fame. Um, and I think Veep, another show she was on. And I was doing a little research, and I'm thinking, I remember that name because she's like listing off her long name. I'm like, that sounds familiar. And it wasn't clicking, but I was like, she's definitely evil. And then I looked it up. I'm like, who is she exactly? And then it, she takes on the mantle of Madam Hydra, which I believe that's exactly what she's doing here. I mean, it's not 100% per certain, but she, like, even if she doesn't take that name exactly, that's basically who she becomes, or that's basically what they're trying to imply. She's not good. She's not good at all. Man, 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 this was good. 
Now, speaking of what I'm presuming she's going to become Madam Hydra, let's now shift into John Walker in this episode because I was surprised with the opening of the episode because I wasn't expecting to open with him running away and everything. I thought that we were going like, to build up to that or maybe I'm not, I wasn't really sure. I just wasn't expecting that immediately. The first thing we see is him running and then having all the memories and stuff. And he's sitting there kind of mourning Battlestar and what happened to him and then he's thinking back on all these moments he was hearing him talk and then what he did to that guy Bucky and Sam show up and I'm like oh shit and then the fight ensues to get that shield very intense fight I love the fact that John even though we're not supposed to like John I like the fact that John was able to fight both of them at the same time obviously you know Sam has a little bit of a disadvantage he doesn't have super soldier serum but they were finding ways to fight back, and it was good that it was kind of going back and forth where John was getting the advantage, and then Bucky and Sam were getting the advantage. And then towards the end, them working together was really, really good. And uh, the way they knocked him out, oh, Jesus Christ, just like slamming him in the back with that shield. Jesus, that was brutal. Um, But it was really good. It was really good. And John gets stripped of being Captain America. I, I'm guessing he doesn't have the suit anymore. I'm not really sure. He doesn't have the shield, clearly. But, and he's making a fucking shield. Okay, okay, I guess because uh, fucking Madam Hydra or you know, Contessa, whatever. She said, you know, the second best thing you ever did, I think she said was to marry, that, uh, marry his wife. And I uh, forget the thing that she had said about him doing what he did or working with Battlestar or whatever or becoming Captain America, whatever. I can't remember. It's been a while because there was a bunch more episode after that. <laughs> bunch more stuff going on. But she said the number one thing is answering my call. So clearly he's going to go evil. I don't know if he's going to die the next episode. I mean, I would be, I would be surprised if he they killed him off. Because I feel like John Walker might be around for a little bit. I feel like he's not going to just go away. I could be wrong. I just don't see them exiting the character or at least killing him off um, next week's episode. I could be wrong, though. But... Um, yeah, John definitely was uh, losing it, and he, of course, was being told he gets no rank um, being discharged like this. Like he, he's, he has nothing, basically. No benefits, nothing. And he says, you made me. I did whatever you asked and all this stuff. It's like, it doesn't matter. Like, what you did over the line. And then he brought up the consequences or the context leading up to the consequences. Fucking words. Jesus. It's, been, it's, a, it's, it's in the morning. It's too fucking early. The context leading up to that event they're like well, we took all that in consideration it doesn't matter it doesn't change our decision so he walked away um yeah so he's making a shield we'll see what that happens <laughs> we'll see what he's doing with that i have no idea it looks like he's making a, a shield very similar or almost exact to caps i don't know so oh uh, now we have bucky and sam of course in the episode and they seem to go their separate ways and then bucky just shows up and he drops off what i'm presuming in the box is caps or Sam's, Sam's Captain America suit, which is interesting, <laughs> very cool, very, very cool, um, so they're working together on the boat, they're bonding a little bit, they're talking, and um, at the end there, Sam and Bucky have a heart-to-heart -heart about the shield, and of course, Sam is training with it a little bit, and um, talking about why, you know, the shield was given up and how Bucky really opened up about that. And I think that was really good. And Sam telling him, you need to choose somebody out of that book to really make true amends to really, you know, come to a closure with that. And I think it's going to be that guy that we saw in the first episode, the, uh, the father whose son was murdered and he doesn't know why he doesn't know the specifics. And we see the, in the first bit of Bucky was the winter soldier flashback, killing him as collateral damage, the son. So I feel like that's who it's going to be. That storyline is going to be, I think, hopefully wrapped up next episode with him making true amends and true closure with the father for what he did to that to his son. So I hope that's the case there. Um, but and then also Sam telling Bucky, you know, don't let you know st you shouldn't let others choose. You shouldn't let others' opinions dictate you or choose who you are. Basically, you need you need to know on your own. You need to choose for yourself who you are. And I, I think that's pretty smart. And he kind of heard. I think he was kind of thinking that in general, but also when he talked to Isaiah about, you know, who he was and everything he went through, he was experimented on and luckily he was, you know, basically dead where that nurse uh, like basically forged his uh, death to basically help him escape. Um, I feel, I, and also the fact that, you know, Sam's sister was telling him the same thing, you know, you shouldn't let Isaiah dictate who you are. 
It's in seeing Sam train and get to that point where he is now really comfortable with the shield. And then the big thing at the end there, they're doing some sort of vote. All these politicians, these uh, big, uh, big higher up people, they're, the whole entire meeting gets invaded by uh, Flag Smasher supporters. And then it ends, of course. I'm like, ah. Of course, at the mid credit scene, not after credit scene, the mid credit scene of the show being made by uh, John. But it's like, okay, we're setting up some intense stuff. Because I was, I was wondering, because at, at times it felt kind of slow in this episode. But I wasn't like to the point where I was bored or it felt like, come on, guys, let's pick up the pace a little bit. It, it, was, it felt like we're just, we're building up to something here. And, of course, the training, I think, really helped in the, the fight in the beginning. Jesus, it was so good. Um, and it feels like to me that uh, Carly, leader of the Flag Smashers, is, yeah, she's uh, making some questionable decisions that the people, the others, the other super soldier serum people that she's created essentially with her are basically questioning everything she's doing now. Like, we're criminal ne- criminals now? She's like, have you heard? Haven't you heard? We are criminals. Like, that's what we are to people. And I don't. I think they're gonna betray her. I feel like it's gonna. It's. I feel like the Flag Smashers whole concept is gonna break apart. I feel like she's just destroying it by really pushing it to the point where they're not agreeing with her methods at all. But uh, yeah, really good stuff. Really enjoyed this episode. I'm curious to know what you guys thought about this episode of the Falcon Winter Soldier. I'm really enjoying the show. I can't believe that literally next episode is the finale and it's over. It's done. It's it's crazy, but. You know, the show has been a great ride, in my opinion. It's been getting better and better, in my opinion. And uh, I can't wait to see what they're doing in the finale because uh, I'm really enjoying this show. Like I said, what did you guys think of the episode? Let me in the comments below, guys. Talk to you guys soon. Peace out.